Okay, what we have here is a hot water recirc problem on a existing installation that's about 18 years old. Big giant electric water heater, thermostatic mixing valve, and two branches of a recirc. So through the main house, through just the kitchen, uh, two opposite sides of the house, one tiny little pump, no balancing valve. So it's pulling better through one side than the other. We're gonna fix that by put, using a few of my favorite products. So the first step is to drain the piping. So when I cut into it, I don't get everything wet down here. You can see there's homeowner's belongings. I don't wanna mess with that. And I won't have to because I'm just gonna drain the water out of that recirc piping by isolating the water heater down at the drain valve there. So I'm gonna cut in a balancing valve on both sides here. That way we can balance the flow through either or put in a new circulating pump with a purge valve on it and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so we've got the new Taco 006 E3 circulator put in here. This is a NSF approved for potable water, uh, thermoplastic bodied circulator that can be used for multiple functions, but most of all, it's designed for the use of hot water recirculation. Uh, it's got multiple modes, variable speed. All this information on this dial selection is in the manual for the pump or on the specs on their website. I've been using this pump for a couple of years now, and I'll tell you what, it is a phenomenal little research pump. Union connections, as you can see there, uh, I, I use the pump, the press connections, those are Kalefi tailpieces, but works really well. So use it, utilizing all the same existing pipe that was there, purge it out, get it installed. The main thing though I want to focus on is uh, information on these valves. So these are Kalefi, it looks like it's upside down, sure, but they are flow directional. So that's why they happen to be, my my return line is coming from the top here. So these valves are directional. You can kind of see an arrow on the side. And that's why you're gonna see that. But what's so cool about it is when this pump is running, I've got these set now and balanced to balance flow between that loop there and that loop there, two separate recirc loops in this house. And without these balancing valves, you cannot get them to balance properly. There was nothing in place before, not even ball valves, which are not balancing valves. These are completely different from a globe valve or a balancing or a ball valve in that you can indicate and watch the flow through the valve. It's, I don't have the pump turned on right now because I'm utilizing the smart plug. And I'll explain that in a second. But when there's water flowing here, you pull this ring, this little stainless steel ball will move to indicate where uh, those numbers are in gallons per minute. So I've got both of these lines balanced to about one gallon or maybe slightly below one gallon per minute through there. That's more than enough for uh, this residential application that, I'm, uh, that the, these are running on. So half inch copper lines, two story home, one gallon per minute recirc, that's plenty. Now let's talk about the smart plug here. So you can see a flashing light there in that mode. What this plug is, is really cool. It's a, an award-winning product, believe it or not. So that cord is plugged into it. That's from the pump. But right below there, we've got a couple different things. We've got power, we've got mode, and then we've got sensor. So we've got a situation where we're setting this, this plug is gonna operate the pump for five minutes at a time every 10 minutes, 24 hours a day. That's how I've got it set up. You can also set it up utilizing the sensor on the pipe, on the hot water outlet to the house. You can also set it up so that smart plug there will turn the pump on as needed based off of water usage because it's automatic and it learns 
the usage of the hot water for the house. So two cool modes that this pump, uh, this little smart plug gets you. I've got it set up. Uh, I think it just seems to work best. I get less callbacks if I do the five minutes on, 10 minutes off function. Uh, but for some areas, it might be required to do that automatic function. Check it out, the smart plug with the new Taiko 006 E3 pump. And now they've got a balanced hot water system. I went to the faucets and checked them all out. And we've got equal flow through both. Very cool. Hope this helps.